Secret, 2012 Medical, 2016. All right, that's what we're doing. You can look me up. My website is mycan.net. I'm on Facebook. The big thing I'm hoping to get out of today is like 500 of you crazy fuckers out there subscribing to Mike Can on YouTube. I put on a lot of activism. You'll see me question the, the governor of Massachusetts, Deval Patrick. I've got the governor to answer about medical, about legal. I've got... What's up, brother? What do you say? What are you going to say? In this Massachusetts, it's legal. Yes. Come here. Come up here and say that again. Get it. What are you going to say? It's Massachusetts, it's legal. You in Boston, it's legal. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, brother. And that's what we're doing. I got a radio show I do every Saturday on unregularradio.com. We're broadcasting this whole event live at 420 where the cloud of smoke goes up and we got Congressman Bonnie Frank. They can hear it worldwide. Unregularradio.com. That's what I'm working on. Once more, and then we'll bring them out, okay? And thank you, Bonnie! Okay? Freedom lovers everywhere. Bonnie I fucking you. I mean honorable <laughs> congressman from the 4th District of Massachusetts. Please welcome Barney. Yeah! Barney! Thank you. Barney! Barney! People who are in politics like to talk about what we can do to reduce crime. And sometimes it costs money to reduce crime. You hire more police officers and you do more rehabilitation. Well, I've been fighting for some time for a measure that will reduce crime very substantially and not just cost money, but make money for the government. We can reduce the crime rate by stop treating people as criminals because they've made the decision to smoke marijuana personally. I hope people have noticed that this is a very large crowd here on the Common. People are bumping into each other. There's not a lot of room. There's also no fighting, no anger. Frankly, and I'm not for prohibition on alcohol, but if this was a beer festival instead of a marijuana festival, the cops would have been a lot busier breaking up fights. Yeah. 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 In a free society, the decision of an adult, and I mean adult, to smoke marijuana, which harms certainly nobody else, and done moderately, I don't believe harms anybody, certainly, certainly we have in society today a great deal more physical, social, and economic damage that results from people drinking alcoholic beverages and smoking tobacco than from ingesting marijuana. Now, I'm not prohibiting any of them, but if you're going to single out one to prohibit, by no logical standard would it be marijuana. There are cultural biases involved. If we were to allow adults to make the choice to smoke marijuana if they wanted to, we would save a substantial amount of money on law enforcement, on prison, on the judicial system, and we would be able to gain some revenues. So there are very, very few issues which in my mind are as clear cut. I will also say this, we are making progress here. This is an issue where the public is the head of the politicians, but you've got to do something about it. As I look around at this crowd, I'm very glad to see people here, but I have to tell you, there's one thing about the crowd that makes me a little critical. My bet is that most of you are not in the habit of voting regularly. And this isn't going to change until you do. If everybody here, if everybody here votes this November and gets friends to vote, we will get this changed very quickly. Registration tables here. 
Yeah. Use them. Yeah. Get out there and take advantage of them. We are getting closer to the victory for freedom that we are looking for. And I talked about money. Money would be the benefit of recognizing freedom. It's not the reason for doing it. We're doing it because people in this society ought to be able to make those choices. So I appreciate what the organizations are doing. I'm continuing to work with them. But the change is going to come from the people here voting themselves. And when you go home next week, call up your state representative, call up your state senator, call up your member of the House and Senate and Congress and tell them you don't want to be treated as a criminal because you choose to make this personal decision. And if everybody does that, we're going to win. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Woo! give it up for Barney Frank! So I want to introduce my husband, Jim, who's right here. Coach doing bong hits instead of voting. It's a self you know, <laughs> I know someone who did it last, last election. People say, oh, nobody listens to us, so I won't vote. Because they don't vote, nobody listens to us. People don't appreciate this they vote, and they're registered they voting, and they're right to vote. I wish I could get them to understand that. It's true. I think people are, you know, also afraid of the uh, I mean, you know, not everyone in the government is as approachable as you are, you know? It's true. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Do you guys have a card? Oh, I think it's true. I think it's an individual opinion. I don't think anybody could be treated as a criminal for it, whether it's that marijuana, tobacco, alcohol. Those of individuals who say that it's not up to politics, it's really up to individuals. Well, those who are in on it are more difficult. I would certainly stop being used as criminals and have more treatment. To the extent that it's not an alter behavior, then I think it is a restrictor. They don't alter behavior like that. That's what I represent. Every Saturday we do a media, we do an activism. This event has grown. People are no longer being arrested up on the hill at noon anymore. That was because of you. Because of this event, people coming down here year after year after year. I see the same people, I gotta salute you. This is about you. Don't let the media, don't let the mainstream tell you that your voice does not count. Because I'm telling you, it does. We decriminalized. That wasn't any politician. That wasn't any major party. That wasn't any Boston media. That was you, the people. So let's hear it for the people and the people's rally, the Boston Freedom Rally. Yeah. We gotta be supporting what we're doing here. We got tents up there, mass for the Throw money in the buckets. If you support me and my videos, support me. Support normal. We're getting it done. I want to thank everyone for coming. And I'm going to bring up the rest of the dudes from Unregular Radio. Again, check me out on YouTube. Give money to Mass Kid. Check us out on Unregular Radio Saturdays. Free Mark Emery! Support Gary Johnson and Joe Stein for president!
support Mask Hill on the regular radio. Tomorrow, support Tomorrow.